If you've never been on the studio tour, it's an amazing tour. The Sierra Art Trails is a adventure that takes you through the uh, Sierra foothills and you get to visit over a hundred artists. Today we're going to go visit artist number 15. It's Anita Stoll. Anita Stoll is a pastel artist and she does some amazing work. So just within this Yosemite Lakes Park area you will be able to see at least 13 different artists in very different mediums. You have photographers, you have pastel artists, jewelry, all different kinds of work. So I'm here with Anita Stoll and we're going to start talking about art. So tell me a little bit about how long have you been in Sierra Art Trails and a little bit about your history. This would be my 10th Art Trail, Art Trails here in my home studio and gallery. It's the uh, culmination of a year's work of ups and downs, highs and lows, uh, telling a journey, losing the journey, finding it again and all the frustrations uh, that artists go through and that people go through in life. And I sometimes see that my art actually mimics what I'm going through in life. And uh, it's a learning process for me too. It's actually helped me to cope better with situations. It's a great therapeutic outlet for me. And I love art trails. I love to greet the people when they come here and especially when they come back year after year. It gives me a sense of confidence and feeling, oh, maybe I am doing something right. Now, someone who's never been on this here art trails, they're going to be able to come here to Yosemite Lakes Park and not only look at your wonderful pastel work, but they're going to be able to see at least 13 other artists in this whole area. Um, can you talk a little bit about the diversity of some of the artists that you may know? I'm not sure if you do know of any of the artists here or I anything. I do know most of the artists. They, they are exceptional. Uh, the, the community up he here and the community especially that shows their work is just the most exceptional, amazing group of artists I've ever come across. I think that the art community here, we are uh, a positive group of people. We, we uh, enhance one another and we influence one another and we inspire one another. And uh, it's a great pleasure for me to present my work at Art Trails every year. And what's amazing too is when once you buy the catalog, it's only eighteen dollars, and eighteen dollars, you know, allows two people to look at all this amazing art. You know, you you don't have to go to a museum, you don't have to go far. It's just here in the foothills. I think you really understand the artists a lot more when you walk into their home. Yes, and it's a good way to get to know the artist, to know what they're about. Each person has their own journey in life, and they produce in their own way, and whatever it is that they create. And it's so absorbing. I mean, I, I could spend three days, just isn't enough to cover it all, if you ask me. It's an amazing experience. Who knows, maybe you might buy some. You, ne home. you never know. And it's a great time to actually start buying for the holidays and get some original pieces of work that, you know, your friends will not have. Absolutely. Which is amazing. Can you talk about some experiences that you've had here with one-on-one uh, -on -one with some of your clients or with some of the, um, you know, guests who come into your home? So many people come in and they get quiet and they just walk through the rooms and all kinds of things are going through. My heart's just beating and and, uh, and then slowly some will open up right away, others will remain quiet. I had, uh, I had somebody come last year that really never said a word, was in the background, went through the studio while I was involved with other people and were animated and talking and laughing. And she just taps me on the shoulder and says, I'll take that one. And you could have floored me. She never said a word, she never asked a question. You don't know, you just don't know. I, I just hope it's a pleasant experience for the viewer. I try to paint beauty, I try to paint love and passion and what I feel inside as my reaction from the landscape onto my canvas. I'm not copying a photo, I take a photo as references and it just starts me going. And then more than not, I put the photo away and the journey just takes off on its own. Yeah. Now, well, that's wonderful because you know you're working on this piece of the sunflower and you're talking about how you, your new journey is the sunflower and how abstract it's becoming. Or when you are working on a piece like the sunflower, tell me about the colors that you're using, why are you using them, tell me a little bit how you're feeling. It's an instinct for me. I don't really half the time know why, it's just that it comes out of me, it's instinctive and doesn't always work. Many times it doesn't work. 
I try to get a sense and a feel for the flow of the painting. To me, that's important. The, the composition, the flow, and to leave mystery in it. That's very important because uh, the viewer needs to put in their own experiences into the painting and, and come up with their own uh, relationship with the painting. So I try to leave out details and then uh, in other areas of the painting I will put more details in. I never know for sure. And then let's kind of go back to where you were talking about, you know, where that lady came in and she was so quiet and all of a sudden she wants to buy one of your pieces. I mean, how does that make you feel when someone says to you that they want to own a piece of you? It's such an honor. It's just validation that, yeah, you're doing something right. You're getting your, you're communicating to these people in some way, however their background fits it. And, and you're giving them some pleasure and some peace and tranquility and some beauty, hopefully. And when they buy it, that means it's something they want to live with. And so let's just kind of wrap this up and, and you know, do you, anything you want to say to, you know, the audience out there about CRR Trails and why they should come and experience this three-day event? Uh, it's something that will, will take away with them, that will, will burn as a memory within them of a totally enjoyable experience. Just try it one time if you haven't come before. You will be amazed and you will find enjoyment that you perhaps wouldn't have known before. And you might come home with a beautiful piece of original art from one of our local artists. That's so important. It is very important. And you know, you're so right about that catalog because you really should plan out your trip. You may not be able to see all 100 artists, but you know, see as many different types of artists and bring your friends to enjoy the work as well, right? Absolutely. And definitely come and see Anita. She is number 15 and she's showing in Yosemite Lakes Park. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate Michael. it. Thank you.